friends, penicillin is a gift from God to humanity. And that miracle emerged as a fungal spore which fell upon Alexander Fleming's culture plate. And that fungal spore changed the history and destiny of mankind. The penicillin is a cornerstone of modern medicine. Alexander Fleming was a bacteriologist working in St. Mary's Hospital in London. In 1928, he was working with Staphylococcus aureus culture plates. He was going on vacation and just before going on vacation, he heaped all his culture plates in one corner of the laboratory. And when he came back from the vacation, when he opened the plates, what he noticed was some of the, in some of the culture plates, the Staph aureus growth was eliminated by, by some fungal spores which fell on those plates. So, what we observed was something from those fungal colonies is killing Staphylococcus aureus bacteria. So, that should be a chemical material which can kill the bacteria and that is how penicillin was discovered. That day, Alexander Fleming really did not re didn't really understand the significance of what he, what he has discovered. But later, the modern medicine realized how significant penicillin was and how, how significant antibiotics are. But nowadays, we are going to live in a world without antibiotics because we overuse penicillin, we overused rest of the antibiotics. More and more antibiotics were introduced into the armamentarium and at one stage we believe that we have conquered the challenge of infections. We overused antibiotics, we underused antibiotics and we misuse antibiotics. Is penicillin the first antibiotic? Of course, no. In 1909, the first antibiotic was discovered by Paul Ehrlich and team and the name of that antibiotic was Salversan. Salversan was used to treat syphilis. Unfortunately, the first antibiotic was so toxic, the patients complained against Paul Ehrlich and team. They complained that the scientists have, have produced a, a chemical compound which is so toxic and just to fleece money out of the patients. The drug was so toxic. In 1912, Ehrlich and team, they discovered a new molecule. They modified the salversan called as neosalversan, which was less toxic than the original salversan molecule. Again, at that time, it was used to treat syphilis. In 1920 is a landmark, the first sulfonamide was discovered. The name of the sulfonamide was prondosil. Prondosil is the first sulfonamide discovered in the history. And 1920